Good morning. In behalf of the Bureau of Animal Industry Director, Rodney Domingo, I would like to thank the Philippine College of Swine Practitioners for this opportunity for BAI to be able to present the updates on the African Swine Fever Control and Prevention Program in the Philippines. I am Dr. Sam Castro, the Chair of the BAI ASF Control Task Force. Pork is an important source of animal protein in the Philippines. Historically, in the country, um, the demand for pork has been increasing with an annual per capita consumption of 15.07 kilograms. Socially, it is an important commodity where in 64% of the 12.5 million swine inventories in 2016 was produced in backyard or by small hold producers. The ASF virus is a hardy and resilient virus. It is highly resistant in the environment. It survives freezing and pH levels uh, from 3.6 to 11.5. As a disease, ASF is highly contagious with case mortalities up to 100%. There is no vaccine at the moment and there is no known treatment. ASF is not a human health threat, however, it becomes a public health concern where when animals infected with ASF and other swine diseases are slaughtered for human consumption. The following is a list of commonly occurring diseases in the Philippines for swine and incidentally all of these are um, the differential diagnosis for African swine fever. As you can see here, CSF um, is not possible to differentiate uh, from African swine fever by clinical and post-mortem examination alone. So it is essential to send samples for laboratory examination for confirmation. And more so, it is also difficult to differentiate um, um, African swine fever from the other diseases as um, often in outbreaks, there is a complex of diseases that occurs. This is a list of risk factors for ASF spread. It includes direct contact due to the movement of pigs, pork products, the movement of vehicles, contamination of feed, uh, movement of people and fomites, mechanical vectors, and environmental contamination. If you would notice, this list um, contains mostly, um, it, it, it is mostly because of the practices of stakeholders, and that makes ASF a human-driven disease. The following are cross-cutting issues. Also, ASF is a social issue anchored on poverty. Um, swill is commonly used in the Philippines by most of our uh, backyard farmers because the um, cost of feeds is prohibitive and consumers um, always tend to buy um, pork that is cheaper and pork products that are cheaper um, even without the um, checking or even looking at if they have documents for inspection. Then there's the economic issues wherein farmers, backyard or commercial, um, tend to the first instinct of a farmer when afflicted by ASF and other diseases is to try to recover um, uh, his or her investment. Then there is always the presence of uh, predatory traders wherein they buy uh, pigs at the lowest farm gate prices and the retail prices the markets um, remain um, the same or yeah, the, the, the difference is negligible. Since ASF was first reported in the Philippines in 2019, it has spread to nine regions, 325 municipalities, uh, 31 provinces, uh, 1,508 uh, barangays or villages, and the total number of culled animals is 358,963. This is as of October um, 2, 2020. The following map um, shows the current uh, um, situation of ASF in the Philippines. This is based on the National Zoning and Movement Plan. Um, of the Department of Agriculture, wherein the different um, municipalities is, are, are um, classified according to DC status. So red zones are those that have been infected by ASF. These are surrounded by 
uh, buffer zones which are uh, colored pink um, yellow denotes the uh, various surveillance zones uh, existing and um, light green zones are the protected zones and the dark green zones are those that remain free from the disease so this is as of october 14 2020 and the, the this map the zoning map is regularly updated uh, by the BAI ASF control task force the BAI ASF control task force is the dedicated team that oversees the various uh, um, disease control and prevention activities all around the country and it provides uh, technical and logistic support for our DA quick response team as well as our local government uh, unit ASF task forces. And the following is the, um, the ASF emergency management plan. This is actually a work in progress which we continue to develop with our stakeholders. It draws from the uh, Food and Agriculture Organization publication good emergency management practice uh, with ASF as a disease focus and applying GEM principles, uh, the principles of preparation, prevention, detection, response, and recovery. So there is an ongoing process right now of revising the earlier ver uh, versions of the African Swine Fever Contingency Plan of the Philippines to follow the GEM cycle. So these are the various components of the um, ASF Emergency Management Plan. It includes an emergency preparedness plan which outlines what the government needs to do um, before an outbreak of a disease occurs. So we have already um, incorporated here the ASF uh, contingency plan which we continue to update. The contingency plan is what the government would do in the event of an incursion of disease. Um, the EMP as well includes an operations manual which is a comprehensive set of instructions or um, standard operating procedures to guide field and laboratory staff. And it also includes a recovery plan, which details actions for state recovery or the restoration of normal activities after um, an outbreak. The following figure shows the evolution of how the Philippines has responded to African swine fever. In 2018 to 2019, um, the ASF contingency plan outlined the various prevention um, strategies of, uh, of how we would try to prevent ASF from entering the, con the country. However, when ASF hit in the uh, last quarter of 2019, um, strategies had to shift to control. Okay? So these are the uh, various control strategies, locate, hold, and call, improve surveillance, um, our uh, information, education, and communication campaign, uh, mobilization of support from various um, ends, or including government support as well as private sector, um, collaboration, and the protection of the zones that are still free from the disease. And of course, um, the optimization of biosecurity. The current uh, strategy is Eagle ASF, as we would, we would see here, it it highlights the need for collaboration of various sectors. So I'll be highlighting the components of TGL ASF in the next few slides. So the, these are the various elevated responses, uh, proposed elevated responses to stop the spread of African swine fever um, in the Philippines with five key strategies. The first key strategy is targeted communication with the following key result areas. A communication plan which has identified stakeholders with targeted key communication messages per stakeholder. Um, it aims to have well aware stakeholders uh, and the general public in their roles and responsibilities in the control and prevention and eradication, eventual eradication of the ASF in the country. And these are just the some of the various activities being proposed. These include the development of a um, strategic communication plan with quad media de uh, deployment. And it proposes a strong engagement with our stakeholders. This includes the local government units, the, our DE communication partners, as well as our private sector stakeholders. 
you can see here uh, just samples of the different um, IEC materials we have already developed and we are developing them in um, different languages and dialects in the Philippines. The BAI ASF Control Task Force is currently um, developing a strategic communication plan for African swine fever. This includes the, the, these different components. Um, one is technical, which focuses on understanding the disease, the nature of the disease, and how this would um, define how we uh, develop the various strategies on combating the disease. The need for ASF awareness and advocacy. Um, the uh, component three is risk and crisis communication for our decision makers as well as the field officers to be able to communicate uh, properly in the event of um, in the event of an animal disease emergency. Um, there is a need also to create a network of uh, regional African swine fever um, communication focal persons for us to have warm bodies focusing on communications activities on field. And the fifth is a multi-sectoral um, a focus on multi-sectoral and multidisciplinary collaboration uh, in order for us to implement a one health approach in, um, in addressing ASF. And this also addresses the need for a whole of the government approach in approaching um, such uh, animal situation. So key strategy two is um, intensified surveillance. Um, the key result areas include enhancement of laboratory capacity as well as expansion of the laboratory network support to complement ASF surveillance. Um, the aim here is to have early detection and consequently early response or quick response to suspect ASF cases. Um, there is a need to um, intensify surveillance is needed for us to be able to maintain our ASF uh, free zones and it utilizes um, resources uh, down to the barangay uh, level and it engages um, the private sector as well as well as our state universities and colleges in various collaborations. This slide shows the different collaborations with um, the state universities and colleges as well as the private sector. It includes the Bantay ASF sa Barangay uh, program of the Philippine College of Swine Practitioners with the DA. It also shows a um, collaboration on the development of rapid test kits with the Central Luzon State University, the development of a swine farm biosecurity self-assessment mobile application with the Pampanga State Agriculture University and a proposed risk analysis of ASF in the Philippines um, with the Philippine College of Veterinary Epidemiologists. Currently, we have international collaborations. This includes um, the laboratory training program between the OIE and the Bureau of Animal Industry. It's entitled Building Capacity for African Swine Fever Diagnostics in the Philippines, which will run from 2021 to 2022. There is an ongoing um, webinar series. It's entitled 3D or the population disposal and the contamination. It is a collaboration of the U.S. Defense Threat Reduction Agency and the BAI African Swine Fever Control Task Force. And the participants are our regional ASF coordinators and quick response team, um, technical staff from the BAI, the National Meat Inspection Service, as well as um, local government unit veterinarians. So this um, has been running since September um, and it will end um, here in, in October. Key strategy three is uh, geotag animal and meat movement. It movement. It key result areas include the upgrading of information management systems enabling effective traceability uh, for farms, vehicles, as well as animal products. Key strategy four focuses on meat and product testing, um, which the key result areas include ASF free meat outlets and 
will be aimed to intensify and sustain inspection in slaughterhouses as well as meat shops and market. Um, through the employment of field test kits for selected slaughterhouses to validate integrity of um, shipping documents. Key strategy five is localized attack. It focuses on the strengths of our local government units and the key results areas um, includes effective and early detection and quick response at the local government unit level. It aims to empower our local government units for the implementation of laws and policies related to animal health and food safety as well as security. That sums up the different um, key strategies in the um, DIGIL ASF campaign. And uh, we do have a Facebook page uh, where it, we, we feature the different strategies of the different activities of the um, Control and Prevention Program of the government um, against African swine fever. And again, we'd like to thank the Philippine College of Swine Practitioners for uh, this opportunity to be able to present and to, um, to reach our stakeholders in this fight against African swine fever. Only together can we uh, stop such a disease and only together um, can we protect our gains. Thank you very much.